today from Soldier Field in Chicago. This is the NFL on EA Sports. see Andy Dalton and the Chicago Bears taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Cincinnati Bengals. Pearson has this one teed up, and off we go from Soldier Field. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. For the first time, here comes the Chicago Bear offense, led out by the veteran in his first season in Chicago, but 11th overall, the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. First carry now for David Montgomery. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. And that's it. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And Dalton to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And 2021 in the draft, the first tight end off the board. Florida's Kyle Pitts at number four to Atlanta. The first tight end taken in 2020 was this guy, Cole Komet, number 43 overall. Really started to come on late last season. A good grab there for a first down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Dalton, first and ten. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, we knew that Darnell Mooney could absolutely fly, but he was only taken in the fifth round out of Tulane because of his size. He ended up being one of the better late-round picks in the NFL last year. 61 catches on the season. There's another one there, this time for a first down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 down at the 33. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. 
He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And that'll bring up second down. Play action here with Dalton. This one swung out to Montgomery. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Dalton here from the gun. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Montgomery, they'll run for it. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. 25 yards for David Montgomery. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. CD, that call, it took some guts. It's not like they were at the one-yard line. They no. had some distance to go. They certainly did, and, you know, a lot of people might say that's fly by the seat of your pants type of coaching, but it's also sending a message out there. We're going to be unpredictable. You can't prepare for anything with us. You never know which way we're going to go. We zig, you zag. And now some serious opening drive momentum. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Brandon Wilson now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Time to see the Bengals offense go to work and leading them out to number one overall pick in the 2020 draft. Joe Burrow now his second season out of LSU. And what a rookie season he had indeed. A knee injury knocked him out in week 11 at Washington. And while the Bengals only won two of his 10 starts, I think everyone around the league and anyone who watched the NFL came away impressed. 13 touchdowns, just five interceptions, nearly 270 yards a game passing, the third most by a rookie in NFL history. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 27. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. The former second round pick. This is Joe Mixon. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 
a nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Complete to his tight end sample. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's a give to Mixon. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. On third down, Burrow. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. You say Khalil Mack, an offensive coordinator, gets very, very nervous, and there's another example of exactly why. Nine sacks in 2020. He's been named to six consecutive Pro Bowls and been an All-Pro in two of the previous three seasons in Chicago. Yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Here's McPherson now to send it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. David Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. 
A first down throw coming for Dalton. That's complete to Mooney. A gain of six there on first. Second down at four. Dalton sets up play action. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Play fake. Here's Dalton. Under heavy pressure, and down goes Dalton on the sack. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt in the backfield. As we all know, a big priority for Cincinnati in 2021 is building up the line on both sides of the ball. They want to protect Joe Burrow on the offensive side, but the defense as a whole only produced 17 sacks last year, the lowest total in the NFL. So getting to the quarterback, as we just saw there, that's a nice sign for the Bengals. Second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Dalton, he's going to air one out. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. First and 10 for Dalton. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Mind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. the 15 it's first and 10 to throw here Dalton they'll set up the screen this is Williams yeah he'll work free from one tackle but that's about all as he's taken down the first down screen pass good for five boy that was certainly well read defensively and the key to any screen play is space to work and there was none to be found there and they tackle it for just a short game They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. Steps away to his left. A good decision in the end to pull up run, get some nine yards in a first. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. up on a minute to play in this first half. Dalton now to pass. 
And that is caught, but the bank judge right there to say incomplete. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Toss left to Montgomery. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Andy Dalton. Open man. He finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bears will add on to their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now the point after try for Santos. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. Touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Brandon Wilson to return it. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. There's the rookie from LSU. It's Jamar Chase. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Burrow will throw. Able to find Higgins. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Right. 
Throwing again on second down. Burrow. Open man is Uzama. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And a throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep, Demir Bird. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half out of the veteran quarterback, Andy Dalton. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. started in the second half. Wilson now on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Go. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now it's Burrow. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And Jamar Chase won the 2019 Belindikoff Award as the nation's top receiver while at LSU. And the guy who threw the passes there, Joe Burrow, now is quarterback at Cincinnati. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the gun, a give to Mixon. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. 
to Mixon on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it, and the running game is starting to pay off. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Burrow looking to pass. Being chased out left. Now Burrow loses the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. All right, let's see what Dalton can do after the fumble recovery. Oh, he bowls over him. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And some play callers, when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot of screens and they don't care what down. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen, or that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards. On second down, it's Montgomery. Yeah, he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. So Dalton now. 20! And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Give them 32 on the play. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Dalton operating in the red zone now. Buying time to his left. And I think the ball's out. And this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bouncer two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. First down now, here's second down. Passing, it's Dalton. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Here's Dalton. 
Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. Cole Komet, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bears will extend their lead. Always important to get the first score in the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Brandon Wilson now from his end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Cincinnati set to take over once again. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using <laughs> it. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 27. Here's Burrow. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They're glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and 10. Now it's Mixon running right. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Drop this one down to mix it. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. down and that's going to be caught T Higgins and he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line 25 yards that time well, I can put my defensive cap on right now and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now they've controlled this game throughout and all they want to do is see it through to the end I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Okay. 
So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. This is caught. It's Boyd. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Burrow's throw going to be caught by Bowie. Seven yards to pick up there. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards the pick up, first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here we go. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And he'll be brought down, oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed, here come the flags. Man, that ain't make no sense. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30, so now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bengals are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Evan McPherson for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Bears hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Up, 
first down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Now he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Now Dalton. And it's going to be batted down and will go the other way with the football. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Bengals will get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here we go. Can, can. Can, can. Throwing, Burrow. There's a short one caught by Uzama. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Here's Burrow. Pass complete to Higgins. A five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. And how about the rapport that these two had last year as rookies? Exactly what the Bengals had in mind when they made Joe Burrow the first-round pick and T. Higgins the second. First down now, but that clock rolling. Burrow. And that one complete once again to Higgins. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. to throw Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. Call it a gain of five, and it'll be a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Working with second and five now. Get the, get the, get the, get the, 
Now Burrow. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 32-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one. Exactly right. When you start a season, everyone's goal. Win all of your home games, split your road games, and you're likely going to be in the playoffs. But when you win at home, boy, what a great feeling that is. You don't even mind if people are at your house when you get <laughs> home after a win like that.